know a lot of people will watch this video and straight away be thinking what what on earth is that guy doing um but you really have got to watch this video in its entire entirety to come up with with uh, a real you know a correct view of or or an understanding view of what was taking place and what the outcome was really so and a lot of the explanations are as actually filmed so it will slowly come 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 to you why um i totally and utterly respect that man his name's rob uh, for what he has uh, done, for what he's took on board, for the change he's made, uh, it's blown me away. It's one of, this is one of the videos that means probably more to me than most. Um, and it was by chance really that I got involved uh, with Rob and his, uh, in his horse. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you that clip in its entire, entirety and how what I, when I saw that uh, I need, knew I needed to, to help. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna show you that, that now. Now there is a, there's a couple of little swear words in it. Uh, I'm not gonna bleep it out. I did say to Rob, I'd bleep it out, but I'm not gonna, just play it as it is. Um, now I did, this is this is what you've gotta remember about Rob. I, I did, he was pretty lost with this horse um, and things were going very, very south and someone was gonna get hurt. There was no doubt about it. Uh, but when I told him I was gonna try and edit bits out to make him, you know, not 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 to make him look bad with horses, do you know what he said? He said, "You you put if this is gonna help people, uh, if this is gonna, you know, even if it shows me up a little bit, I don't." He actually said, "I don't care. You put what you want in. If it's gonna help people, I realise I needed help. He's now on a totally different path. Uh, he's doing really well. So please." you know, almost begging, no, no bad comments. Um, you know, he's put himself out there with this to help people that, and there's a lot of people, you know, a lot of Rob's around that, uh, um, you know, just needed guidance in the right direction and were a little bit lost. So please, no negative comments. Okay, so no negative comments. Uh, so um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. A lot to be learned from it. And a really great, great outcome. I'll tell you now. So I'll start now, I'll, I'll, I'll play it through, I'll cut in just a couple of times, just to explain a couple of the the, the things that I'm doing uh, to help Rob. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy this one. Uh, it was fun making it just actually. So yeah, okay, let's put in a minute. Okay guys, um, just coming up to a, a question facility, it's in Pembrokeshire, not that far from where I live actually. Uh, it's called Moore Farmer Question Centre. Left there, there's a little a little arena there, that's like a little extra arena. It's uh, not little. Well, it, yeah, well, it's a uh, little compared with the others. There's a, there's a fishing lake, which you can see there, which my son has come and fished quite a bit. That's there, that's got some huge carp in it. And this area here. Oh, this way, Dad, cross country uh, course. Oh, yeah, cross country course here as well. Uh, is everything here, really. An outdoor there, the jumps. If you could just run in there, Charlotte, and just show the indoor arena. All set up, ready for dressage. Oh, little plug for Dan James Farrier there. That's ready for dressage on the weekend. So, guys, we, we, this is Rob. Uh, Rob who owns Mac Willow. No, it's Willow. Oh, mine's Mac. I went to <laughs> Mac the other day. I keep thinking Mac, Mac, Mac. Uh, Willow. 
um, and you've had him uh, her for about, about six years. About six years. Uh, moved yards recently to come here. Back in October. Yeah, October, and things went a little bit, a little bit sad. They haven't been good for a, a couple of years. Stop. Yeah. So I I met Willow. It was about a month ago. Yeah, it wasn't planned. I came down for another reason, and Jill said, uh, Jill, the owner of, of Moor Farm Christian here, uh, said, will you come and just have a little look uh, at a horse that's recently come? Because things weren't that good. Uh, you know, quite serious problem of, of letting, of, of releasing the horse out in the field. Uh, I've got some little clips of that, where he would, she would pull, pull you away. Broke through electric fencing. Yes, she's done that. Uh, done that, um, and really, um, Rob was at a loss with it. Didn't really know how to. You hadn't come across this before, had you? Uh, I didn't really know what, what to do. So, so there was another. The, the problem for escalating it a bit uh, to the stage where uh, putting Willow in and out, the stables, in and out the stables was becoming <laughs> quite dangerous. Very dangerous yeah. to try and get it. Uh, now, the stable problem was probably the most dangerous problem um, because the first time I, uh, went, when I went to meet the horse when Rob wasn't there, um, Jill said be really careful because the way Rob, the only way Rob could try, could put that horse into the stable, he got a system where he could move to the side out the way of the stable door and then just lean back and let, on a long rope and just, let Willow go in there because Willow would just just fly in there. He would literally he would smash her down if you if you he could not cope with going in slowly. He would have to rush in and rush out. So that shocked me a little bit. I didn't think it would be as bad as it was. So that first fifteen minutes when I was in, I, I, I was in a rush to go, but I thought I'm just going to have a quick look, and I was only going to look. But then I just felt some uneasement there, and I thought oh, I'll just just take him out, take her outside the door. And it was an, a bit of an explosion. I thought, no, let me just have five minutes here. So basically I did 15 minutes, uh, did some hindquarters, basic stuff, hindquarters, front quarters, back to the horse away. Uh, and very quickly we had a little bit of a crowd watching and asking because they'd been seeing how bad things were and they were all saying, yeah, things could get very dangerous. So anyway, I worked on that and very quickly, I, that horse pretty much melted to me and felt very, very, very confident in me. And I had her going in, you know, for the, probably the first time in that stay, but with a little bit of peacefulness, in, out, in, out, in, out. So uh, I, I realized then there's, there could be a really good out, outcome to this. So that's what that is. That's, that's probably more the reason I got involved, um, other than the footage I was shown about uh, turning out. But yeah, that's what that's about. Um, so I just thought I'd tell you how bad that was a real dangerous problem. Obviously with the big horse as well. And Rob's no spring chicken. I don't, I don't, I don't think you might, you'd mind me saying that. Um, uh, so, you know, we would easily get hurt. So, okay, we'll crack on. Made a system where you could get out of the way. Get out of the way. Yeah. And she would. She'd go in. She'd, she'd, she'd actually virtually canter in there. She, yeah, she, she, that, that, that's, what concerned me more was you not, you, know, you not getting hurt. So I did a little session, I think it was about a quarter of an hour um, with her. You weren't here, uh, I don't think for that. I did, I did just a little bit did with Jill, yeah. Uh, did it with Jill, the owner, and managed to kind of get her over that uh, so that I could lead her in and out. Uh, I probably did it about 20 times till she relaxed. So. Uh, Rob then sort of got involved then again and you noticed there was a difference yeah. and things were a little bit better. There was a big, uh, big step up. A big step up. There yeah. were still things to learn, me yeah. more than anything. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm now sort of coming into the way as you're thinking. Oh, that's, that's good. Um, you know, um, yeah. after our discussion, it sort of just blossomed a little bit. Yeah. Well, it can set you on another path. Little and steps. It, yeah, that's great. So see, see how gracious he is. He's just, you know, to, 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 to really, really change the way he's thinking because he had a little spark there that something got better uh, and he was sensible enough, you know, 
to, to realize and, and, and change completely the way he thinks about things. So like I say, he, 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 you know, I've got every respect for the man. So this is, this is the first major session I'm gonna do. Things have got a little bit better, uh, but what I've come for today is to actually do, all I've ever done is, is done a little bit here by the stable when, when I've visited for another reason. So what I'm gonna to do today, I'm gonna do some groundwork I'm going to give Rob a few groundwork tips and some tips on what, what he could do to improve things going forward. Uh, I think Rob was late into horses, uh, absolutely loves his horses, yeah. you, you, you enjoy horses oh, yeah. unbelievably. Uh, I think he, Rob was about 46, 47 when he discovered horses and hasn't looked back really, he couldn't do without them. So um, I won't say how old you are now. But, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's been a little while that he's been into horses, but he started late. So that's it. We're gonna we're gonna take Willow to the. Uh, we'll start with the indoor arena, and then I'll start doing a little bit of groundwork. Um, it's all set up for dressage, so Jill might not want you to use the indoor. Uh, is it all dragged? Mm, I don't know if she want you to use the indoor. Jill, sorry. Is it all dragged for dressage? Do you want us to go outside or indoor? No, no, you're fine. To go indoor. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I just so said it's not loud in there. <laughs> So that's the plan then now, we're going to, we'll, 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 we'll resume in the indoor arena when we're going to do a little bit of groundwork uh, and go from there. So okay Rob, so we're going to start off with everything wants to be with quality and gracefulness if you can, right? So with her, because she's so big, I would try and get her to start working with you a little bit. She makes you look really small. <laughs> Does she? Uh, yeah, I'd start working with her, the more she works with you, the more everything gets better. Everything, okay, yeah. right? So even, I've come in the stable, I've just backed her off by looking at her feet and put a little bit of pressure and then zero pressure when she backed off, rather than say, saying back, 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 yeah. which is what most people do, and you did that then. Yeah. So, right, so what I'm gonna do here, even putting this on, I've put this over her head, I'm gonna try and get her to work with me, to work together. So I'm, and now look at that, that's, you, Look at that, what has she just done, Rob? Yeah. She's just put her head into that to work with me. Rather than, I'll push it back now, rather than doing it here together, try and get her to, to help us put it on and take it off. So if I was gonna take this off now, right? The only place this would come off is right, I'm gonna wait till she just, there. Did you see her just work with me and yeah. give me something then? Now that would equate to the bitting. If you get it really good with this, then when you put the bit in or take the bit out, so everything's right from the minute of meeting her, it's work, yeah. work. So look, I'm just putting a bit of pressure here. I'm just thinking about her, her putting her head in there and then Put it on, and then probably see if I can just lower her head a little bit here. There. You see how that? Yeah. Have you done any of the lowering the head? No. No. Well, I'm going to show you that before we go in the arena. Right. So, that's right from the off. Everything with quality. Even putting the, the halter on. Yeah. With quality. Now, for, for you to have some peaceful time with her, you spend a lot of time down here. Oh yeah, that means a lot of time. Oh yeah. Okay. yeah. Right. Now I'm gonna I've got a feeling she's gonna do this pretty pretty quickly. She will find major peace with you if her head's down with you. You never see a horse with its head low that's excited and worried. Like when you let her out and she tries to get away from you, where's her head? It's, it's the way horses are. Yeah. Nervous horses, heads up. And it's just like a strange effect it has when you can lower them around you, right? So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put a bit of pressure on the bottom of there. Now immediately, this neck there, I'm gonna pick a spot here, I'm gonna stay there. As Soon as that drops down, even at an eye out, I'm gonna release, okay? Mm -hmm. And eventually, I should be able to have it down here at the ask. So, I'm gonna put a bit of pressure, look, look, see there, yep. pressure, I'm gonna think about her coming down. Right, she just moved slightly. So I'm gonna tell her how good that is. I'm gonna, bit of pressure, look, nothing's happening. What happened? 
the second she went, yeah. I released. So there was something in it for her. She just wants no pressure from you, yeah. no pressure from me. That's what motivates a horse, no pressure. So it's the release where they learn. Right? Yeah. So a little bit of pressure again. Now she's, she's leaning on that, so I'm gonna just rock side to side. Look, just a little bit. And then when she drops, significantly there. Now, did you witness yeah. that? Yeah. Now I'm not pulling harder, no. I'm just waiting for her yeah. to make the, the safe, decision. The There's a safe. little bit of pressure. Right, again, now, I'm thinking that, right, it's taking less and less time. Now you'll probably see a change in her, in her eyes in a minute. Now, same thing again, there, right. See that? Now you can do this in here, this is something you can practise. Yeah. She will love the, look, look at that. So you see, she's come down now, mm -hmm. uh, you'll probably see a change in her now. You see like a different expression in her eye? Yeah. This is something I, I used to practice a lot. I mean, I don't get enough, look at that, she's doing that herself now. Mm -hmm. That's feeling good and you can do exactly the same thing. Okay, look at that. Okay, so that's that. She's a real nice soul, mm. ain't she? Right, what I want you to do now is come round here for me. Okay. I can't I see. You to don't look in her eyes or anything, you know, you're just going to look. Now, a bit of pressure and then release it. Me, you've got to be real quick with the release. Now give her a little rub, no patting, no hard patting. And again, imagine her going, right, lovely. Now go on your knees and see whether you can cradle her. Uh, uh, just take your time and a little bit of pressure and release when she drops. And again, don't release unless, lovely release. Now see if you can cradle her up to you, her head, like I did. Go in a little bit more with a bit of gracefulness. Right, now that's good. Now see if you can get her, in your head, her head in your arms there. Oh, that's it. Oh. Now do you think you could, and again now, a little bit of pressure, she took it away from you. A little bit of pressure and release immediately she does give. Now, ah, now you're released for the wrong thing then. I'm gonna be particular with you because then I, you'll know when you did it right or wrong. Yeah. So, now cradle her. Yeah. Now, it's really evident in the next couple of clips that our horse, you know, whatever, although a horse really can forgive, horse does, I've noticed, I've made so many mistakes with horses and they kind of forgive you for it. Uh, but uh, it does take, to forgive them you for it, you have to kind of uh, get their trust back and maybe change a couple of the ways you, you're doing things. Uh, and it's evident now, you will see, uh, because of the history and the way that horse, that, that Rob makes makes Willow feel in his company, uh, he's a, or has done a lot in the past, uh, hence running off uh, as soon as he's, you know, let, lets him off and generally getting a little bit lost between themselves. You can notice the horse when not really wanting to experience that niceness down by his knee. It's interesting for you to see because it just shows what's more important to a horse, what I've really, really, really come to terms with now, is not how expensive the stables are that we give them or the, the truck that they, uh, you know, the, the, the trailer that you take them out in and all that feed you give them. It's not that that really means most to a horse because of the way that their mental uh, makeup is. It's actually how we make them feel in our company. That's what's important to a horse. And I think that's, you know, whatever skills I've got over the years, that's some, why a lot of horses responded to me pretty quickly. Because I make them feel better. That's what it is. It, this other species that's controlling them, it, that's what, what makes a horse tick and how they feel within themselves right into their gut is how you make them feel that's the important thing to horse nothing else matters um so yeah uh you will notice this now and it's very interesting to be on film yes. and again if you're not one of these guys who gets down and can't get up are you <laughs> right get her down in the cradle in your arms go hold and wait on her wait on her yes wait on her yes right Right, okay, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Now, uh, I just wanted you to go before, you can't leave it on a note like that, right. because she, she took it away from you. Yeah. Now there's history with you both. Yeah. 
there's a little bit of things that's gone on, but there hasn't with me. That's why she's staying more with me. But eventually, I want her to be able to want to stay with you. So see if you can just try not to try and be greedy when you've got a crave in a minute and let her go. Yeah, so that she doesn't take it away from you. That's good release. Then again, hold, hold, hold. Don't release it. Yes. Now just a soft. Don't talk to her. No, no, that's it. Let her go. Let her go now. So you with me? Yeah. You. She yeah. took it before you let her go back up then. All right. Do you want them to get up, fella? Yeah, then knees are going, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Uh, so how much sense did that make to you? A lot. A lot you can yeah. come in and... Uh, no, I'm just going to leave her on a... Right, so... I'll see whether I can just leave her on a real good note with that. Right. There. Now, there's no history with me, is it? Yeah. You know, you have had a bit of history. You've had a few things mm -hmm. take place. So... That's a... No, no, that's where I'd hope you got to. With that. A bit of practice okay. on that, we'll get that. Yeah, if we're on videos, you'll yeah. see exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. So remember, if she resists, just a little sideward movement, mm -hmm. so she not only gets a release from the pole coming down, but from the sideward <laughs> movement as well. Okay, so that's it then. So everything with quality, even from the stable. Yeah. So now we'll go, we'll go to the indoor arena, okay. all right? So yeah. let's go then. Uh, do you want to yep. lead her there? And we'll just film you leading it. Two to me. Is she in Charlotte? What I'm going to do, the exercises that I'm going to do now, I'm going to keep real basic. You will get to a stage probably where you'll say, Stephen, I'm ready for something more. If I show you too much, if I do too much, I've learned that people just get so and they're bombarded. bombarded. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep it so simple. Yeah. Something I might do, I will not show you to do. I might do something, you, you might think, oh, whoa, you didn't show me that. That's because it's not a part of the basic, yeah. right? So I'm gonna just keep very, very simple things that I think, you'll only have about three things to practice. And it's when those are perfect, or as perfect as you think, and you think you're ready for the next set, and then, and obviously the riding, there's lots to learn with the riding um, as well, but with this is not about riding now, this is about having a better relationship with her, being able to uh, function together, uh, be able to let her go in the field without worrying about her getting away, and all of that, right? So, I'll take her from you now, uh, other than being in the outside the stable, I haven't done anything with her, right? She hasn't, absolutely. So what I'm gonna do first, right? I'm, I'm gonna ask for her hind quarters, right? That's where I'm gonna go towards her hind quarters and I'm gonna, when she disengages a couple of times, I'm gonna walk away from her, but I'm gonna look at the hind quarters, okay? okay. You know what I said about looking at her feet? Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm looking at hind quarters. That's a nice disengagement. That is. Now I'm going to walk away from her and I'm going to. Did you see how I just went up and down mm -hmm. and she stopped immediately? Now, because she stopped immediately, I don't need to do anything. If she'd have kept walking, then I would have sent her foot back. Now, what foot do you think is going to go back? The left one. The left one. So I'm going to look at it. I'm not going to back her up much, but I'm going to square her up. So I'm going to. Remember I said tut not cluck for back? Yeah. So I'm gonna make myself bigger and just, and because she went, I've left her. Okay? Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna do that four or five times now. Okay, right, so I'm gonna go towards her hind end. There's a disengagement. There's a disengagement. There's a disengagement. Now I'm gonna walk out, right? <laughs> Did you see that? Now, I'm leaving it for a second. Now I'm gonna square her up. Remember how I did that? I'm just gonna tut, make myself big, and rock the rope. And that's gone back. Only just to try, yeah. all right? How, how does that seem yeah. to you? Yeah? 
Now, the reason I'm doing the hindquarters first is, if she allows me to disengage her hindquarters so easily, it means I'm no threat to her. Because if I was a threat, she wouldn't do it. She would go like this. She would not do this. If you do that with your legs now, yeah. right? You can't run anywhere. You have no power. No. Right. So a lot of I've just been to two donkeys this morning, and it took me ages to get them to do what she just did for me, because they kept they were told to broken. They're six and seven year olds, and they insisted on their back end doing this because they were ready to go. Does that make sense? Yeah. So the fact that she's letting me control that is a great thing. That's a, that's wonderful. I mean, so does that make sense? Why I'm doing yeah, this? Good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's lovely. So I'm going to walk out of it and stop. The respect she's showing is wonderful. You've got great, great horse. Okay, now she was looking away then. So what I did, her attention over there. Well, while I've got the lead rope, if her attention wavers, just a little tiny bump back to me. Yep. There. And leave her alone. Does that make sense? Yep. So if she, a lot of people miss that and their horses will be looking all over the place and their ears will be going forward and they'll be thinking, and no wonder the horse starts to get... No listening, isn't it? Well, they're thinking about other things. Yeah. So you get them on you if you can. Yeah. Okay? So that's good. So, so I know I've got the hindquarters. I know you're going to be able to do that, but I will show you. There, look, I just want your attention. Now I'm going to back her more than the one pace. Now, you know what I said about going into the stables and not saying back, 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 and all that? All I'm going to do, I want to say four paces back. So I'm going to go towards her. I'm going to touch, make myself big. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to bring that one back and stop it. Right. Now, I know her head went up a little bit and whatever. That will reduce to next to nothing, really. Because you know you're there. <laughs> you're blending in. <laughs> um, so. Willow knew she was there. Huh? Willow knew she was there. Willow did, yes. That's what it was then. Uh, so, I want to do that again now. Really important. Because you're going to be letting her out and things, the more you can back a horse up, the more they see you as being. She won't be frightened of it. She won't want to do anything bad if she sees you as the leader, a good leader. Yeah. Right? Um, right. One, two. I'm going to give her a little bump here. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right. So, hind quarters. Forward. Stop. Okay, so you see how I've got hindquarters, I've got respect to space, and I can back her away from me. Yeah. Okay? Right, right. Now the next one is where you're leading her. I've noticed you're leading her here. Yeah? No. Where was you leading her, Justin? I had a... About there? I had... No, I had... She must have had at least a metre of... Okay, yeah. Okay. Well, what... I tend to do in the early stages, yeah. and it's not what a lot of people are taught. I tend to give them a plenty. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you end up with a better riding horse when you have them on a long line because what happens is when we have them here, and everywhere I go, they all have them here. Yeah. They lose any kind of softness in their jaw, especially if you've got a bit and you're holding them with a snaffle. Yeah. So loads of people do. You're holding them, and we don't realise one, one lead somewhere, there's been about 50 releases for the wrong thing. Not only that, you understand what I'm saying there? Yeah, they, yeah. they only should have a release when the snaffle broke, when we lift the rein, and then the snaffle breaks, and they, have a, they feel the peel, that's when they should do that. But when we're leading them with a snaffle, We've, we've released for all the wrong because they're looking over there, so they've got constant releases. So our training goes downhill if we lead too close yeah. to here. Right? Not only that, the fact that you'll be trying to establish a leadership, which is all about space. Yeah. You look at, I mean, I've got four horses at home at the moment. I watch them, and honestly, it's all about space. 
they'll go up, you know, that's my bit of grass, so the other horse will have to move out of the space. Oh, I'm going that way, you'll have to move out the way for me. It's all about space. So what happens is if we lead too close, we don't realise it, but they do, that they've pushed on us a bunch of times without us realising. It meant the world to them. Yeah. But so if you can, I would lead her a little bit longer. Give her a bit more length, yeah. Do you, do you, do you understand the reason why yes. I said that? Yeah. So that we don't lose any softness. And when you stop, it gives her more time to stop. Yeah. Right. Because, you know, when you come through here, she was sort of on you a little bit. You'll see on the video. Yeah. She's sort of probably in front of you a little bit. Well, you're the leader. Yeah. She doesn't lead you. She was and coming across the car park. She was yeah, yeah. But, but, and it is a common fault, isn't it? In the, you know, common problem with people in the car park. The horses go a little bit. See, that's what I've been working on. If my horse was doing that there, I'd work on that for a couple of hours over out there. Because it should be no difference. There is a difference to the horse's mind, but there shouldn't be, and that's where we have to show that out there is no difference yeah. to in here. All right? So I've kept that quite simple on that, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're on a long line. Lovely job. She's quite relaxed. Now what I'm going to do now, and I'm not going to ask you to do this. I just think it will help her mentally. I'm going to lead to drive in there, okay? So I'm leading her here, okay? Now, I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to drive her. I'm going to keep doing that so she's not worried about it. So I'm driving her there, right? Now, I've turned it into leading her. I'm going to keep doing this till she's comfortable with it, and it can really mentally help a horse, right? Now, I'm taking the space here. Now I'm driving her. Now I'm leading her. Now I've had some horses, I've played with this each day for an hour and it's changed the job. So I'm taking the space from her here. See how I'm looking at the space? Right? And we've noticed the others, when you watch the horses at home, you can see them doing it, can't do you? They exactly the same thing. They push on. Yeah. You've got to be 100% the leader of the partnership. It is a partnership, but it's not 50-50. Uh -huh. If they think it is, then it's anarchy, isn't it? So I'm driving her now. She's being driven by me. Now I'm going to disengage her. Remember I played with that? There's the disengagement. And now she's the follower. Now I'm taking this space here. Now she's the, the driven, driving her. Right? Now, I'm trying not to pull too much on her. I want her to follow. And now one side is different to the other because you know the eyes, the eyes see differently in mentally. Each side sees differently. Yeah. Some experiences out of one eye can affect them out of that eye, not the other. Yeah, okay. Weird really, isn't it? But... Now, what I just said there in that moment about changing eyes, uh, I half expected a difference in the way she was thinking about eyes. A couple of times I'd noticed her tip her head when she was a little bit, you know, breathed a little bit hard or something. She tipped her head to keep me in the uh, left eye. So this is, uh, there's been a few videos I've done where it's really evident. Some people don't even think that it's real. It is it's two different eyes. You've got to keep horses balanced. This is a great opportunity for you to see exactly what I'm describing there and how, how different things were on the other side. So yeah, real good opportunity. Uh, I really enjoyed watching that bit as well. So yeah, here we go. So is this making a little bit of sense? Yeah. I'm taking the space here. That's the space I'm having. There, that's my space. Now it's becoming the follow. So I think, 
that and she's quite relaxed and accepting of me as the driver and to follow me. Now we'll go on the other arm. Okay, so she's following quite nicely. Now, so the difference on this side has, aren't we? Yeah. So I'll work with this. Right? So we've got a little problem there, which probably is the turnout thing. Yeah? No okay. turn out. So this is very evident. So I'll work with this. side of the horse the left mm. <laughs> yes so which one's the problem in the right yeah right so what we do stop back it up come on right what we do how old is she 12 12 so most of her life she would have been caught from this side. She would have been tapped from this side. She would have been led from this side. Led from the field, caught, everything to this side. Rugs. Hmm? Rugs. Rugs, usually rugs are thrown. You know, as a whole, this horse knows people this side. And it's more comfortable for some of this side. Yeah. As soon as any kind of weird that she's not sure of is presented to her, then this is where it shows up. Okay? So it tells me that if you can, you know I showed you the, the lowering of the head? Yeah. Right? Which which this side, she she really liked that, didn't she? Yeah? If you can do it more in a stable, the other side, to get a real comfortable with you this side, yeah. rub on her more that side. Try and lead her around that side. Do a little bit more and be aware if you ever get into trouble leading her out, that it will be this side. I guarantee you, this will be what causing that problem. Right? So I'm going to work on this now till she's comfortable. Yeah. And Rob, it's not just you, it literally. No, it's not just you. It's so I'm coming in here. Now. Much better. So I'll keep, keep this up now. She's not 100% comfortable with it, but she's getting better. But what would usually happen in, in a good 90% of cases, in the middle of that storm, th things would have stopped for that. Most people wouldn't recognise that and continue through the storm to get this right. Yeah. Now, the problem is, if she kicked a fuss like that, and whoever was on the end of the lever went, whoa, what a, you know, which is what most people would do, not knowing the reason and not knowing what to do with it. It reinforces the problem because she thinks to save herself that it's exactly what she should have done. Perform and be, and be, you know, to, to do that, to stop it. Yes. Yeah? So, so we lead in, I want to continue with this now. Take it, lead in, take this place here, drive her, drive her. I'm coming in behind her now, lovely. Okay, 
Take this space. Every time I stop, make sure she stops nicely. Tell her how good she is. She licked and chewed. She feels good about that. And automatically, which side have I come? This is what I get caught in exactly the same trap as everyone else. Yeah. Just feel more comfortable here. So we do. Just do it all right time. We do it all, you know. It's the way it is. Yeah. And it really affects these horses. That's where. Yeah, I've done the ranch is where I learned a lot of stuff. These cowboys, whichever side they, ro they rode the cow or the car, they jump off and get on that side. You with me? They've got one dally there, they get off there, they can leap up. The, other side, just the, the horses are so balanced, it's unbelievable. They will never just do one side. No. Um, so, yeah, it just shows you, you have to try and think to, to do more that side. So, I'm not going to be asking you to do that for reasons. You will get ready to do that, but you're not ready for that now. Because if you upset her with that, it can go down. But that was important for me to see that, and I got through a little spot there. Yeah. Right, so we've covered hind quarters. I'll just run through that again. We've got hind quarters. We've got walk away. We've got stop. We've got back up. All right, now, the other one with the backing up is with the equipment. So. You hold underneath with your thumb down, I will show you this, and you're gonna you're gonna look at the feet and release for each time the foot steps back. Does that, that make yes. sense? So look, I'm gonna I know in an ideal world we'd have this pole soft, but for now I just want to get her connected with this to that, to the feet. Okay. Okay, so look, I'm gonna tuck, remember? So and I'm gonna release as soon as this foot goes. Right. So I've released. Simple as that, and then give it a few seconds in between. Right. Release. This will get lighter in a minute. Release. 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 Is that making sense? Yeah. I'm releasing for each foot. And Dad, do you want to explain when Rob would do disengaging and backing up, like every day before well, he rides, when he brings over here, and just get 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 a disengaging away from you. Do do these simple exercises. One is disengage, walk away, and stop, which we'll do with you in a minute. Yeah. Uh, the other one is backing her away from you, and this one. And just you see how I'm slightly rocking my hands a little bit, so. I'm, Rocking and release. So she's getting lighter, I'm noticing there. No, but I mean for other people, would they do it before they ride, when they bring in, when they... How often do people do this? I, with my own horses, once my groundwork's done, I never ever do it again ever, right? Unless something shows up. Because my groundwork is my, my catching, my bringing in from the field. My groundwork's all done before I ride. But I haven't deliberately gone to do the groundwork. Gotcha. Now if I was leaving my own horse in, uh, this is after all my groundwork's done, I'll know when, it's what, groundwork is nothing more than halter breaking a horse correctly. That's what halter breaking is. That's my idea of a halter broke horse is one that you can park over there, you can back up, you can, they won't pull away from you. That's halter broke, where you can do stuff with them on the end of the lever. Now, once that's done, I know, now I won't do it again. Because horses know when you're doing something needlessly, they're not stupid. Yeah. So once you've got it in place, I don't do it again. But I'll go to the field, and I'll catch the horse with quality, like I was saying. So I catch the horse, and the horse has to come and help me with the head collar. Then I might back up to. Then I might prepare myself to walk to the stable. 
Then I might be coming across the field, and I might twice just check that I've got my stop. Then I might come to the gate and open the gate and send her feet there, through the gate, disengage our hindquarters, back her up to, right? And one more, please, thank you. Then I might shut the gate. So all my groundwork is done in the handling. Yes. Now if something showed up and I stopped and uh, my horse said, well, you haven't reminded me for long enough now, and bumped into me, or wouldn't go through the gate, which remember forward, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna show you the forward in a minute. The forward is trailer loading. It's everything on the ground for, 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 for forward mode, right? So there's a forward with the feet. So it's a good question, Charlotte. You know, I, once the groundwork's done, I don't do it again, unless it shows up. But my handling of the horses Includes is it. the groundwork. Because then you don't, yeah. some horses really get fed up with the grammar because they know there's no merit in it, it's just boo, boo, boo. And there's some systems which people follow with some, with some great things in the system, but sometimes it can be overdone, the groundwork. And the horses start swishing their tail, start hating to be caught. You know, they don't want that every day. Does that make, yeah. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. So, so we've covered those little basics. Now the next one is the feet forward, which I was coming to, right? So you can practice, you don't have to lunge loads, but we need the feet forward when we want the feet forward. If we don't own the feet forward, they go forward when they want. We've got to own that like the backup. Yeah. So a lot of people miss the unrequested forward motion, and yet when they ask for it, they don't get it. You know, we've got to own those feet forward when we want. Right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask here, and then I'm going to put pressure. Okay, but as soon as she goes, that's it. It's all I want. So, look, uh, there's a suggestion. She didn't go with a good deal, now she's gone. Right? So I would ideally like her to go at suggestion. There's a suggestion. There's the second deal. Third deal is maybe a flag. Or, or wave this. But I'm, asking, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna keep going now until she goes at the good deal. Right, now then, she went at the good deal. So it took three times to get her to move forward with the feet for the good deal. And then look, you tell her how good she is. Because she did that good, then I'll give her a little, there was some merit to that for her. Yeah. Right, so it's just feet forward. There you go, oh, there you go, look. There you go, yeah. So now we're gonna do it on which side? Now we're going to see what we've got on the other side. So, uh, I'll, I'll ask. Yeah, got it. I'll ask. I'm not even. That's just a suggestion, right? She said, oh, I think I'll turn in. That's a suggestion of feet forward. All right? So, you ready? We'll give her two minutes now as a little, little break for two seconds now. Then we'll get you doing those simple things. Okay. Yeah, nothing difficult there, was there? No, no, no. Till you start trying. <laughs> Sorry. Right, you're going to have the lead rope there, add the whole thing. Now, you're going to put your thumb down. Thumb, yes. Now, don't, no, you're not going to lower her head now. Don't put any pressure there yet. You're going to look at her feet. You're going to touch a little bit. And you're going to release when it goes back. Now, give her a little touch. Just touch her neck and say, that's it. And again, touch. Release for each foot. Go on, now really, you pull on it a little bit. Rock it. Right, no, now three in, a, in, a, in the row. Release for each foot. Go on, tut. Now hold it, keep hold of it. Just a little releases. No, rock. That's it, right. There's one. There's release. There's release. You with me? Yeah. Okay, and again. One, yes. Two. Now give her a little touch. Just touch it and stop. Right. With, with quality and gracefulness, so she doesn't um, Right, I'm gonna ask you again in about a minute, uh, 20 seconds time, same thing, I want three feet back. I want you to touch, thumb down, and then, right, off you go. Touch, one, two, three, four, that's okay. A little, that's it, mm -hmm. that's it, right. How does that feel? 
Because all what you're doing there in her mind, you're connecting that, her feet, to your releases. And you are looking at her feet. Again, four paces. Thumb down, rock it a little bit and touch. Go on, go on, go on. Be effective. Two, three, and four. Good releases. How did that feel to you? Right, see if you can lower her head down. You don't have to get down on your knees, but just <laughs> bend down a little bit. See if you can lower her head. Good release. Don't, you don't touch, because you're touching this for the feet. There, good. That's nice. Oh, see, see how she's quite touchy about quick movements? So again, just don't, don't go on your knees, just, just bend a little bit. Right, there. Okay, now just leave her alone now. Let her come up at her own self. Yes. Do you see how you're a bit quick with your movement? She stayed there for you then, so that was good. So you can practice that one for me. So there's two simply. And the next one is, you're going to walk, right, towards, you're going to have to sit a bit longer. Yeah, uh, there. You're going to walk and cluck towards her hindquarters. So you're going to move her hindquarters that way. And then when I say out of there, you're going to walk out, and then you're going to stop. Right, so get those three disengagements. Go on, go on, go on, look at them. There's one, there's two, there's three. Now walk out, lovely. And then start with your, yes. Now turn around and back her up from where you are. Look at her feet, look at her feet and bring this up and down like that. Up, short and down like that. Look at the feet, go on, do it. That's one, death, just stop, stop, good. That was better than I did it. So give her a little touch. There, a little touch. Now, again, same thing. Towards it, no, 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 towards her hind quarters. You remember what you did? Drop. You're gonna go round to her hind quarters. You're gonna cluck her hind quarters, disengage her. Go towards them. Right, one, two, three. Now walk out of there. Walk out of there, now stop. Yes. Now she stops immediately. How did that feel? So, yes, good, yes, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, you got it. That, how did that feel? Good. Really? Mm -hmm. He's actually quite good, isn't he? A lot of people, really, Rob, a lot of people struggle with even that basic. That's good, Rob. Right, now, remember, what you do one side, do the other. So, the same thing. Try and, each time she, she disengages, in your mind and in your body, Release slightly. Right. She'll know. Just do something that, oh yeah, meant to do. Yeah. Well, cluck me like that. Right, off you go. Let's be effective. Cluck. One, two, now walk out of there. Yeah? Okay. Now, you're not effective with your stop because you're just sort of involved in her. So I need you to do this. When you stop, you go Thanks. up with your shoulders. Up and down. Yeah. You forgot that one. And again, be effective. Right. Just there. like you tell some one, people back foot. Two, three, now out of there. And then up and down when you're ready. No, with your heels. Yes, and again, same thing. Just like you say, foot back. Yeah, go on, be effective. Yes, now out of there. And then your heels up and down. I think you can get that bit better. Yeah. Like a proper... Right, from where you are now, I don't want you to go towards her. I want you to back her up two paces. So what you'll do, you'll have this, in shorter. You'll come up and down and look at her feet and touch. Go on, keep doing it, keep doing it. Be effective, be effective, be effective, be effective. Keep going, be effective. Now, yeah. Now, I'm glad that just happened because if you didn't have increased, she would have tried you. She would have said, well, you're not Steve. So you have to be effective. So you have to build till she says, and eventually you'll just go look at her feet and she'll come back. Do you see what I'm saying about being effective? Yeah. If you just fiddle about like that all the time, you can start off at that, but you've got to be effective. And again, start off low. Go on, go on. Yes, now she's going, now she's going, now, good. That's it, that's it. So do you think you could practice that and get that better? If she doesn't with that, you have, you have to, you're that, you're the horse. Right, now you're doing this, 
and it's sort of meaning not enough. Yeah. So you have to go up, down. It's the down. So it's up, right. down. Yeah. All right? Yeah. We won't overdo that now because you just had a nice backup for you. Yeah. But if you need to be more effective, if you think to yourself, I'm not being effective, you go up, a bit shorter, and down. So she feels it on her head. Mm. All right? Good. Now, the last one. So you, you're with that, so it's hind quarters. Now this stopping is something that has to happen everywhere. So if she encroaches on you like she was when you are yep. leading her up there, you say, excuse me, then, you, then you'll back her off. Yep. I'm gonna lean back and I'm gonna show you, okay? So then the last one is feet forward. So you're gonna come to the side, right? And it's like a lunge, you have it a bit shorter. All I'm looking for at this stage down at the side, is you're going to suggest with your arm for it to go forward with the feet and then catch yourself or something, drive, drive, with drive, there, she's done it, she's done it, leave her alone. All you're looking for is a movement of the feet forward, that's it, at this stage. So you're looking at her feet, everything that you're looking at her feet, everything you're doing is starting to make her think, oh my word, there's a communication to my feet. So get, prepare yourself, ask first. Go on, keep going round. Now, ask with this hand and drive and drive. Go on, ask. You lead her, lead her out. Yes, there you go. Come out of there, that's it. It's because I'm here, you, buy, you know, that she was a little bit worried then because I was here. But can you understand what I've just said to you? Just practice, just getting her to, to go forward with her feet, looking at her feet. Do you think you could yeah. do those oh, simple things? Yeah. Mm. And in the same with I'll the lower. I'll get one of these as well. Uh, have we got one of those? No, I'll, I'll mm. get one. Well, I like because I need this as well. You don't want to know, really. Um, any questions on that? No. Self-explanatory. Do you know you did quite well? I'm not joking. Well, a lot of people, I have to. It's been ages, I know, Charlotte. It took just, me ages. There's no, there's, no, there's no shame in taking ages. I'm a good listener. Yeah. And I concentrate. Yeah. Rob, the walk out from disengage, he used to shout at me all the time because he's like, why can't you just walk out of it? Yeah, you walked out of it, right? Perfect, now. yeah. That's her release, you see. All she wants is you, not right. So I'm going to have her a bit longer than you did. Yeah. Okay? A little bit longer so she's not uh, confined. Now I'm on my way to the door. No. I'm going to back her up a couple because she just came two paces. Too close. Well, yeah, you know. No, no, that was two paces. So I'm going to right. back her up again here. I'll get. I'll open yeah. the gate first. No, that was better. All right. Yeah. Rob, I'll go in front. Okay. Let me grab that gate first. How is it going to? Okay. So here, I I knew that it was important for that horse's uh, psyche, uh, for its thoughts, to know that when I leave the arena, or a place of learning or exercise, it's when we leave that place to go out that there's no difference, that the cues, the respect, uh, everything, the relationship is exactly the same. And this would, I knew that if I did that, if I did that leading little bit and did a little bit of uh, respect and and working with that horse to get back to the stable with some kind of quality between us. Uh, I, that's, that was important to me to do that, to set a little seed there so that when we eventually took the horse out to the field, no difference from that stable to the arena, from that stable to the field, there's no difference. And if there seems to be a difference, that's where I would be putting my time if it was my horse, is where the differences are, where that horse thinks, well, you know, we're not in the arena now, we're outside and there's lots of other distractions and you're now not important to me, I'll just do what I need to do with my feet and no, not acceptable, not happening on my watch. That's the kind of attitude that I would need to have to bring that horse forward and to do well with. So that's why I sort of kind of insisted on doing that leading bit. So yeah, uh, watch and see what you think of this. So,
good because I firmed up a little bit then. Yeah. That was excellent. Now I'm going to back her up with the grimmer with the thumb. Yep. One, two. Now, if we can get the same response out here as in the arena, this is the hard bit. A lot of things more things going on. Yeah, but if we can get the same response, then turning her out and doing all your stuff outside, it's no difference in the arena. So, that's good. Excellent. Yeah. So these are the little things you can practice, but you get it good in there first. I find these are quick learning. Yes. We like our mares, don't we, Dad? <laughs> oh, that's wonderful coming in there, then. Isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to put Willow out now and what I've done, because she's got a habit of galloping off a million miles an hour as soon as you unclip, sometimes dangerously really, she could go she through electric fences, yes. whatever she needs to do. So I'm going to just try something here and I've done it before years ago, I've put two head collars on. Now if this kind of works, it's something Rob can do, um, do, it, do it yourself, you know, you take one off, do, uh, not yet. So she sort of second guesses it really. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna undo the red one. She might then go, I'll try to get away, but I've got the underneath rope as well then. So we're gonna see how that, that goes. So on the way to the field now, I'm gonna stop her a couple of times. Same deal. Well, she comes out there, lovely. So I don't remember it being that good. She would have dragged me down there. She would. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go straight. Because I said to you about the arena is no different. No different than anywhere else. Yeah. And that's why everything's the same. And that's what we forget. People yeah. do the training in an arena or... And, and then they don't continue it. You're together, so you could be doing it all the time. All the time, right. So, that's good. So, at this particular point here, this is where, you know, the original uh, videos of the, un the, the um, where the horse gets completely lost uh, and Rob loses, it, loses his head a little bit with everything. And, so that particular spot there, even I could feel the tension in that little moment there. So I was covering it up quite well. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, watch this, pretty good. Right, so what I've got here now then, I've got this, which, okay, yeah. I've got that as a spare. Now I'm gonna take this off, right? So she thinks now, she will think now that she is free. She's ready, but I got this. Oh, I know, but now I'm gonna. So this is what I would do. You've got two, two there. I've got one, haven't I, here? So she hasn't done anything, has she? So now I'm. Um... So I would, I would go as far as, you know, now I haven't got a connection. Now, it's important I leave her, she doesn't leave me. You with what I'm saying? Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to offset her mine. I'm going to push her foot back. So I've offset her mine there. Now I'm going. I've gone. There she goes. But, but that's, yeah. that's her joy. Yeah. 
So that's okay, wouldn't you, you know? She doesn't I, kick out or anything. Did, no, no, no. Right, but she was very, very polite. Yeah. The way, did you see how I she, went? She waited for you to get out the way first. She, I went, but uh, uh, so that's a good thing. Bring two if you can. You might not need two, but try and spend a little bit of time here. Ask for just a little bit of back. Yeah. Wait with her, then you go. Yeah. All right, mate? Yeah. How's that there, kidder? I'm happy. I think you did very well. So that's the way that ended there. Uh, Willow ran off, uh, but um, it was, I, I felt great about the fact that I managed to, you know, me leave, I like to leave a horse, I don't like to leave me. And I know we all sometimes like shoo them away to watch that, the lovely way they move off and run off and, and acrobatics and all of that. But I do try to be me, the one that leaves them and then they go off. Uh, but I thought that was, uh, that was, a, that was a, I, I fully expected that. That's a learned behaviour. And you know what? What can we do about that? Running off? Nothing. I can't. Maybe it get less and less. I think that's just, you know, just one of those things that Rob might have to accept if she does that each time and not get too upset about it. You know, but just try and be the one that leaves, leaves Willow, not leave, Willow leave us. So, yeah, so, um... Yeah, it was good to see that again. Right. I'm going to push her foot back. So I've offset her mine there. Now I'm going. I've done. So that was a bit of a roller coaster, that one. Um, how's Rob doing? Brilliant. Rob's doing really well. He's definitely on another path. He loves he loves Willow to bits. Um, and spends lo every day, goes down there. Uh, he just lo loves being around horses. Um, what's wrong with that? But here's a couple of little clips I put together. He, he sent me some little clips of him riding a horse and whatever. So a little couple of clips here showing how they're getting on. Um, and uh, yeah, the, I'll try and put an update on this link, you know, in the in the near future uh, when I hear a bit more. But uh, yeah, so have a look at a little look at this. I think you'll you'll I, I enjoyed looking at these little clips he sent me. So have a look at this now. That's the end of this one. Just noticed it's uh, it's an hour long again. It's definitely a large pop gourd, not a medium one. And if you're watching this one, but uh, that's it. Yeah, catch you next time. If you it, it really, I really think this could help a lot of people. I really do. Um, especially not shouting at horses and uh, and and getting getting a little bit cross with horses. So I would really appreciate it if you can share this one. Uh, you know, it, it could help a lot of people. So you'd be doing other people a favour, not just me for getting my videos out there. Uh, so yeah, please share this one. I'll uh, be chuffed to bits if you do. Okay, catch you next time, guys.